And I think that the story itself is a story, uh, is a love story. It's a love story between brothers, especially uh, Omari, who wants to legitimize this money that's coming in through the uh, drug trade that we uh, are lords of in New York. Ghost and wants to. Go Ghost wants to. Yeah, you know people will be right now. Like, I know. Omari, oh, Omari like we know him tweet, now. Tweet He's navigating, you know. He's trying to figure out how to get from one side of, um, of life, which is a dark, grim side, where he, you know, he and Tommy, played by Joe, have sort of dominated in a city where, as the title track that uh, Curtis uh, introduces the show with, they're from a big, rich town, you know, and they just grew up in the poorest part. Um, and so he's trying to figure out how to let that life go while Joe's character wants me to hold on desperately to that life because all he knows is that it's brought us to uh, fame, not only fame in terms of popularity because it's the last thing we want. We want to remain obscure, but fame in terms of uh, being more powerful than anybody that grew up in our neighborhood. And, of course, I want to create new pathways, new um, opportunities. I want to sort of cut across the grain and become this entrepreneur of clubs internationally, not only in New York, but you know, across the pond as well. Those are my dreams, lofty dreams that I think are still connected to his father, which when you watch the series, you'll see that you know, underneath all of this is this sort of like baton carrying that, that Ghost is trying to do to maintain what his father once dreamed of doing with clubs. I think it's very reflective of New York as well. There's so much, uh, the uh, Latino community is really strongly represented, especially with Ghost speaking Spanish. Um, and then of course we have uh, white and black and everything in between and that's only gonna grow. Hopefully there's more and more seasons and uh, every, you know, it really shows New York off as the incredible di diverse community Melting that it pot is. That it is. You mean, we grow up, go legit, live happily ever after? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I am from the far northwest side uh, off the Bryn Mawr exit on the Kennedy for the Chicagoans among us. Um, uh, it's called Norwood Park and I grew up in Norwood Park and uh, Jefferson Park on the far northwest side. And uh, I Park. went to high school. Park. 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 Did you guys catch that? Park. He's truly a Chicago We're all divided native. into parks. That's it. It's a city of parks. That's it's it. actually one of its uh, other names is the um, city in a garden. Isn't that pretty? That is um, pretty. So uh, You kind of got a garden feel to you. That's true. I'm floral. I smell good. I look good. Part of the Shut thing. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, so I went to high school uh, <laughs> in, in, uh, in Niles. Uh, it's a border mm. suburb just uh, north, uh, not too far. And I went to Columbia College, Chicago. I'm from ATL, Shouty. Shout a shout. And uh, Decatur wears greater more specifically. And uh, went to high school about 40 minutes away to a school very similar to Joe. Um, it, was, it used to be a boys' school, actually home to David Hasselhoff before he was kicked out, um, or high school home to him. And then, you know, and I was one of maybe 13 blacks in the school when I got there. You know, sports um, sort of drew me in. I played all the ball and found the pen as a poet back then when I was in high school and ultimately found my way to the University of Georgia where I played football and minored in theater. And uh, 17 years later, coming out of college, um, I found my way to Joe Shakora from Chicago. Joe, you want to tell her what I always tell you? That's make, an awesome, make, make, an awesome question. Make the sign of the cross before you read each script. I don't say that to <laughs> Courtney him. says that. <laughs> Every time Just he brings wise. it up, I say, uh, Joe, you're not going anywhere, brother. <laughs> they, they very much need you on the show. And he goes, and you know, and I respect it and honor it because we both come from theater. and. You know, he respects the craft. He's so talented, but at his base, he, the talent comes um, from a place of respect for what we do. He doesn't take it lightly. And so in his mind, he's like, I better run hard every, every episode. I tend to think he's going to be around. <laughs> <laughs> but also really to speak of that and give my partner here some uh, uh, credit, where credit is due, I think like 50, um, Omari brings his, I mean, his A game, as does everybody, but Omari brings that in a way that it's like, yeah, I expect an A game back, but it's also like, that's why you're here, man, A game. So it really encourages, I think, not only me, but I think from Omari, it, it does bleed down, and I think that the series is going to be incredibly special because everybody stepped up to the plate to play, and it's going to be a really exciting season.